What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Simon Tech once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the hash rate for an APU, which is an integrated graphics processing unit that is going to be in the latest and greatest APU from AMD, the A12 9800. So stick around. Alrighty, so to start things off, the A12-9800 is essentially a quad-core processor that clocks at 3.8 gigahertz and turbos up to 4.2 gigahertz. It features the older architecture of the Radeon R7 graphics line, which is going to be Tonga based. And it has a clock of what, 1108 megahertz. So it's nothing great, but we can still mine with it. Of course, to mine with it, we're going to have to go into the BIOS settings and you're going to need to change the allocated memory up to two gigabytes. This is because most coins are going to have a DAG larger than one gigabyte. Of course, this is also going to cause other issues with Ethereum as it's too large of a DAG. So we're going to be mining Ubique. Of course, this way we can still mine with Claymore and then you guys can see a similar hash rate because the hash rate still is the same or translates right over to Ethereum. So that's the rundown and that's everything going on with this particular chip. Now the reason I bought it wasn't for mining. We're going to be taking a look at gaming with it of course. So if you're interested in the gaming portion be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can catch that here in a little while. Now one of the things about APUs that have always been a known deal is that the higher you can clock the memory the better they perform. Unfortunately on the Gigabyte Mini ITX B350 motherboard not X370 but the B350N unfortunately even on the latest BIOS which is the F5 I'm not able to use my XMP profile for the memory I have in here which is from a data the XPG now the XPG is on the supported list for AM4 and it also worked with Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 out of the box so obviously there's an issue here with the APU in particular on the B350 chipset and hopefully that gets resolved with a BIOS update from Gigabyte etc but here's the deal the key note here that I wanted to point out is that the internal testing by AMD was done at 3200 megahertz. So we can't even get what AMD was showing off in their benchmarks initially to actually translate over to our tests. So I'm going to give it a little bit more time before the gaming updates. Until then I will be doing an overclocking live stream tomorrow evening, which for you guys in the future will be uh, September 8th, 2017. And of course, that's going to be at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Without further ado, here are the hash rates. So, as I said, after we configured the memory to go up to 2 gigabytes, and then we set our miner to all coins and then specified expanse to avoid the dev fee, we started up and we are getting a whopping 2 mega hash a second. Yeah, nothing groundbreaking, but you can do it, and that's cool, right? I guess. I mean, in theory, if you were going to do a build and just grab one, you could just do that and then get a little bit of extra hash rate out of your proc that you chose. Of course, there's not really any PTC motherboards that are AM4, so that's kind of a mute point. Yeah, this whole test was just for fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.